And hello everyone, we welcome you to John Edwards Field in Lipsick, we, we, where we are set to former and future league rivals set to do battle. Tonight it's in a non-league tilt as the Lipsick Vikings play host to the Rockets of Pandora Gilboa. Hello again, everyone. Alongside my partner, Miles Holiday, I'm Randy Roberts. Partner, gorgeous night for football once again. Week three, just about everyone wrapping up their non-conference slates and a pretty good rivalry as Lipsick PG set to do battle for the 69th time overall. Yeah, gonna have some fun on grass here tonight. It's nice to see some old uh, grass turf. Where else would you rather be, Randy Roberts, than right here, right now? A game that promises to give us quite a bit of points here tonight. Yeah, looking forward to uh, this one. Let's talk a little bit about these two before we get to our opening kickoff for Pandora Gilboa under head coach Matt Hershey now in his seventh year. They come in one and one, defeated Columbus Grove at home on the final play of the game, 25-22. Fell last week at Bluffton, 28-21. They go with sophomore quarterback Corey Girton, 55 of 90 through the air, 571 yards, five touchdowns, but four interceptions. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Anytime you have a young quarterback, is he going to turn the ball over? He can't turn the ball over tonight. A lot of those interceptions, Randy, are because the ball sails on him, so you know, the fundamentals get away from you. But he's not just a sophomore. He's a, a veteran sophomore, played the last eight games behind the center position a year ago. And wait till you see him, folks. He's got a lively arm. Future is definitely bright for Pandora Gilboa. Pandora Gilboa's run for just 130 yards total through the first two games of the year defensively led by another sophomore and linebacker Ben Burkholder 18 tackles so far through four games with four for loss now the three linebackers that they'll put out there for Pandora Gilboa they those guys are tackling machines 14 14 and 17 tackles out of those three guys well for Lipsick under head coach Joe Kirkendall now in his 14th year they come in at 2-0 going north and defeating Lake out of Wood County 25-19 while shutting out Van Buren 48 to nothing. Partner, it's a return of power football for the Vikings. They have turned out 539 rush yards and they've got a three-headed attack. Yeah, three-headed attack and really still haven't figured out what they're going to do at quarterback. So it's a great thing for them that they're able to run the football. We asked Coach Kirkendall who's going to play quarterback and he says, yep. <laughs> it's kind of a feel thing. So you'll see Offenbacher and Lammers behind the center position. The Lipsick won the opening toss. They chose to defer. So we will see the Rockets of Pandora Gilboa getting the football first. And you'll see our favorite kicker of all time right here to tow it up. Tyler Walther, 6'2", 400 pounds. The big fella ready to get it going. This might surprise you, a straight on kicker. Little number to begin. This one's going to be fielded inside the 40 where Pandora Goboa will just sit on it, and we are underway. A great job by Lane Lee, number 11 for Pandora Gilboa. Going and getting that one. No, don't want to turn it over. Anytime that ball is bouncing around on a kickoff, it could be precarious. Gains possession. Pandora Gilboa, first down. Rockets are going to start from their own 36. Keep an eye on the outside receivers. This is a team that has thrown for 571 yards already. Harris, number one with 28 catches, and Morris, number 10 with 16 catches. Looking to run here on first down and able to get out of would-be tackler. Would-be Ben Burkholder is their leading rusher so far, and he's going to be out. And it looks like he's going to have enough for a first down on the first play of the game. Well, we talked to Coach Hershey before the game. We said, well, you're going to throw it 60 times tonight. And he goes, no, we want to run the football. This is a team that is only averaging 65 yards on the ground per game. He wants to get that run game going, keep it away from Lipsick. He's kind of worried about that offense. Thinks Lipsick can score some points if they get the football. Burkholder is going to pick up 11. And it's first and 10 out at the 47. You see H-back lined up to the left side, three receiver set. One of those receivers come into the backfield. It'll be Aiden Morris. Morris, uh, one of the top receivers on this team. And anytime he's going to get a, a gain of about three. Sorry, partner. That's all right. Anytime you have a, a, a weapon like Morris, so you want to get the ball in his hands, get a guy like that just a little bit of crease, he can make it to the house in a big way. That time he followed the guard, Dalton Durst, around a little power O. Unique way to run it out of the motion set, but kind of a neat play for Pandora Gilboa. Okay, looking for senior receivers, Colin Harris and the Aiden Morris that we just saw combined for nearly 400 receiving yards. Now looking to throw, quick toss. This one comes to the near sideline where Brock Stahl will haul it in, and that's going to be a gain of just a couple of yards. Tavis Barnero comes up and lays a hit. 
Yeah. So I have to give up quick little hitches. But just don't let them run after the catch. Get them to the ground in a hurry. Great defensive back fundamentals for Lipsick. A gain of about two and a half yards. It's going to set up third down. We're going to call it third and about five from just inside the Lipsick 48-yard line. Now looks like Lipsick going to go man-to-man -man with some safety help over top. Well, dropping back to pass under a little bit of pressure. Middle open right up. Ooh. For Gurton takes a big hit, but he's going to get a first down at the 40-yard line. How about the hit by Quinn Schrader? Come flying up. You see a quarterback running at you. You get those eyes real big, deliver a hit. First down, but they're going to make Gurton pay for it. Gain of eight on the scrambles, enough for a first down. Rockets have it at the lip sick 40. Two minutes nearly run down the opening quarter on our Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. Scoreboard tonight brought to you by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Gert in the shotgun once again. Gibbs going to go right back to Burkholder. He's going to weave his way for a first down and more as he fights off a tackler, gets all the way down to about the 26-yard line. Uh, offensive play callers absolutely love running backs that get yards after contact. Matt Hershey, the head coach and a play caller for Pandora Gilboa, loves that. Burkholder just kept those feet turning. Should have been about a five-yard gain, got about four more yards because he was just determined running over purple jerseys. Ends up getting 14 on the run. It's another first down at the 26-yard line. Well, you see the wide defensive tackle, so really... There's only one guy in the interior for Lipsick, and that's why Pandora Gilboa is running the football so well. And they go right back to Brickholder up the middle again. He's going to pick up about six more. He's going to get to that edge of the red zone. A red zone tonight brought to you by Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping in Lipsick. They are there for all of your commercial and residential concrete needs. Quinn Westhoven came down from his right defensive end spot, gets involved on that tackle. He almost had Gurton for a, a sack on that big third down, but Gurton got away from him. And now officials going to have an official's timeout momentarily here. Not sure what the issue is. Well, he had a shoe untied. You got to have shoes at work. Okay. That was uh, Quinn Westhoven. If it happens again, got to get the Velcro shoes out. Saw so Brock Stahl talking to one of the officials. Gurton. Quickly fires the football. Let's go out to the far side. And nice job making the stop out there was Estevan Carrillo. But Colin, it is. Colin Harris, the outside receiver number one, kind of fortunate that the official didn't see it. Got a little handsy on the defensive back right there. Could have been called for a hole, but the officials let it go. First down for Pandora. And they'll pick up five on the quick pass play. It's enough for a first down. Eighth play of the drive coming up here for the Rockets from the Lipsick 15-yard line. Tyler Walter checked in on the last play. Big nose tackle, number 99. Gilboa gashing him in the middle of the field, so you get a little bit larger in the A-gap. Gurton is a man coming in motion. Burkholder wanted to cut up field, lost his footing momentarily. He's able to continue on, and it looks like he's going to pick up about a yard. And that's Westhoven again, number 77 for Lipsick, getting involved on that tackle. Very active from his defensive end position so far on this drive. Second and nine coming up here for the uh, Rockets in no hurry. Already chewed up about four minutes of this opening quarter clock. They're running the football will do that, right? Just a team that's kind of struggled to run the ball, come out in the first series dictating terms. Exactly what Matt Hershey wanted to do is Burke Holder again. He'll pick up some positive yardage riding along for the tackle, Mike Jimenez. Senior linebacker number 25. And it's a good thing Jimenez was there to make the tackle because he might have scored had he broken that tackle. Give him it's like a couple of yards down to the 12-yard line. Another third down coming up here for Pandora Gilboa. They've been successful converting a couple of third downs on this drive. Well, as a play caller here, third down and long, you got to think four downs, right? Yeah. You're this close, so you have really two more downs. Gerton with the handoff. They'll change it up this time, going with Andrew Miller, junior running back, but Lipsick able to collapse on that play. Really good fill by Zeisloft. Defensive tackle, knifed through. Made the tackle right at the line of scrimmage, and already a huge play early in this ballgame. Looks like a 
No gain or maybe a minimal loss. Ball still spotted right around the 12 yard line. If you're Lipsick, bring some pressure. This is going to be a throw. Look for him to move the pocket. Now fourth and about six coming up here, might be closer to seven. Girton again in the shotgun, looks to throw, has to double clutch, and it's intercepted! Jumping the route was Mike Jimenez, and he's going to come up with the interception for the Vikings. Now Jimenez just read the eyes of Girton. This has been a problem for Pandora Gilboa this year. Too many interceptions, already the fifth one on the year. Negates what was a promising drive. Lipsick holds. Now they get the football. So the Vikings force the turnover here already near the halfway mark of this opening quarter. They're going to have the football deep in their own territory, but they keep the goose egg on the scoreboard. Well, it's your definition of a bend but don't break type of defense right there. Gave it up, gave up all kinds of yards on the ground, but Stiffened up at the right time. See a lot of motion, a lot of movement out of this Lipsig offense. Pandora is going to read that one, and the first down run is going to go for a loss. And Jake Fisher, the big left defensive end. He was a block of granite that time for the Rockets. Couldn't move him. Second down, now second and 11, tackle for loss. This is a really good Pandora Gilboa team against the run. Remember, they stopped Columbus Grove. And Trent Barraza, what an electric running back he is. They held him down. They've been very tough against the ground game of their opponents. Split backs this time for the Vikings. They'll quickly fire the football. Comes out to the near side and getting out of bounds. Inadvertently getting to the sideline, I should say. Trent Siefker. Got away with a little bit of a tug on a jersey on the outside. I'll set down up third down and short. So far, the officials letting the perimeter play Get a little handsy with the defensive back over top of you. That's okay. Officially going to let him go. Pickup of about seven. We'll call it second and four just outside the 16-yard line. We also want to tell you that our instant replays tonight are brought to you by the Union Bank. Union Bank committed to you. Third and short. There's the counter play and stretching forward. And it looks like getting it up for the first down will be Estevan Carrillo. It was the second effort by Carrillo. The little body lean and extension of the football gets the first down. And a huge first down for Lipsick. You don't want to kick, punt the ball away mm -hmm. and get the ball back after an extended drive by Pandora Gilboa. And folks, if you're watching this and you're saying, why is Pandora Gilboa running around so late defensively? Well, it's because they're trying to match up Lipsick with their offensive line. They have what they call their quick side or open side and their strong side. So they'll flip linemen, and Pandora Gilboa tries to match that. So Tyler Lommers under center once again. Quick pitch. Runs it out to that far sideline. Just slipping down, trying to break free was Seifker. Seifker, one of the fastest guys in the area. Coach Kirkendall told us a 4.49 type of speed, and that's after he had a knee injury about a year ago. We challenged him to race Randy Roberts after the game. He denied that opportunity. Ooh. You see, he was terrified of you, Randy. Live to see another day. You can't lose if you don't race. That's right. right. No gain on the play. He's going to break up second and 10 from the 21 yard line. Lommer's in a shotgun, rolls to the near side. Pass is caught. He's going to find Schrader. Schrader's going to be upended at the 25. As Isaac Stahl, senior defensive back, puts the hit on. I like any time you get Schrader the ball in open space, right? Let him work. Such a quick athlete. We saw him against Liberty Center, and he was electric in a scrimmage. Caught a couple short passes, turned him into long gains using his feet. Also a good defensive back, two interceptions away from tying the school record. Third and six coming up for the Vikings from their own 25-yard line. Lommers, quick throw, gets it out. And it's going to be near first down yardage as he found his target in Siefker. Siefker immediately kind of stepped back. The official furthest away from the sticks is already saying it's enough for first down. I don't know if the rest of the crew agrees. And we, oh, we are going to get the first down. I thought for the first time this year, at least for our broadcast, 
we were going to see the measurement. I guarantee that sideline thought it wasn't a first down, right? They're saying, no, way too short. But I wondered if he meant went sideways too much, but just got enough for the first down. Usually you catch a slant, you want to try and get a field as quickly as possible. First down to the 31. Leads to a first down run. That pile pushing forward will gain about three or four. Going back to Carrillo. A lot of the run plays for this Lipsick offense are going to be quick hitting type things. And not the, the biggest offensive line you're ever going to come across. So help them out by hitting the hole fast. Gain of two brings up second and eight from the 33. We might have a quarter with both teams having one drive already inside of three minutes here. A fairly, uh, fairly quick moving opening quarter. See the clock running on our web insurance agency scoreboard. Split backs once again. Everyone's going to come to the near side. Pitch is going to come Schrader. Schrader's going to absorb a big hit back at the 30-yard line. A second time already on this uh, possession that Jake Fisher gets involved. 79 with the clothesline. He's able to make that tackle, though, because Lane Lee comes flying up, forces the action back inside, and already another big third down here for Lipsick. A loss of three on the run is going to bring up third and 11 back at the 30-yard line. Do you call that a clothesline, or is it a Russian sickle? What do you, what do you call that? I was going to go clothesline. Yeah, maybe a lariat. Stan, Stan Hansen go. makes an appearance. Lombard's looking to throw downfield, cutting out. The pass is going to be incomplete. Looking for... Jace Brecht. A tough route to complete. Had underneath coverage and some help over top. Had to throw it over top of Lucas Denard. Just enough to harass that throw. Lipstick's going to have to punt. So after running four and a half minutes off the clock, the Vikings will punt it away. Just under two minutes left to go in our opening quarter. It's Tommy Offenbacher, who we expect to also see a quarterback tonight for the Vikings will punt. Step into this one. Nice high kick, fair catch called for, and will be made at about the 35 yard line. Jace Brecht, number three, comes flying down, forces that fair catch opportunity because if you don't fair catch it, you're going to get ripped right away. Aiden Moore, smart move, putting that hand up in the air and waving it for the fair catch. Rockets get this one at their own 35. Hey, we're pleased to announce new pricing for the WOSN streaming, streaming service. For only $8 per month, you can watch WOSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wosn.tv, also available on Roku and Apple TV. Pistol look this time, second possession of the night for Pandora Gilboa, and the first down run is going to lead with a loss. As Carrillo comes flying in, Lipsick jumped to a four look, down look because of the pistol eye look from Pandora Gilboa. Tendencies have shown early in this year, Randy, when they are in that two back set, it's going to be run, run heavy. Some point in time, they're going to have to break out play action pass off of that. Loss of two on the run is going to bring up second and 12. Gerton rolls to that far sideline. He's going to fire this one downfield. Pass is going to be incomplete. Catch was made, but out of the field of play is Aiden Morris tried to stay in bounds. Yeah, they tried a little double move and out and then up the sideline, and they rolled to it. Problem, though, is you're going to the short side of the field, so your quarterback's going to run out of room. Tough throw to complete. Almost got an interference penalty because the defensive back on that side a little packed a little bit as Tyler Lombers lost track of the ball. Third and 12 coming up here. Lipstick showing a lot of man heavy coverage early in this game. Curtin drops back. Hit as he fires, and the pass is intercepted. As a Tavis. Brejano comes up with the interception. You got to give a lot of credit to Quinn Westhoven, number 77, the right defensive end, all over top to quarterback Gurton. Every time Gurton's dropped back to pass, he has been near him. He is having himself a heck of a day rushing the quarterback 
Pandora Gilboa going to have to figure out what to do with that wide nine position that Westhoven gets in. For the second time in two drives, it is an interception that ends a Pandora Gilboa drive. Lipsig with it, just 57 seconds to go in our opening quarter, and they will have it at the Rocket 40. This time we do see Offenbacher in at quarterback. And the quick pitch goes to Schrader, who will pick up a couple of yards. And these defensive backs for Pandora Gilboa are, are really sure tacklers. And that time flying up was Colin Harris. Already 11 tackles on here coming into tonight. Good open field. That's a great battle, right? Him and Schrader on the outside attacking it right there. Fun battle. Gain of three on the play is going to bring up second and seven. And Lipsick very well might make this the final play of the quarter. Offenbach gets the handoff. He'll go this time with Mason Raider. Third part of that three-headed rushing attack. And Raider will get maybe two. And that is going to be the end of our opening quarter. So no score after 12 minutes of play. We'll come back quarter number two here from Lipsick. Lipsick ready to go as we begin at quarter number two. They're going to face a third and six from their, uh, the Pandora 36 yard line, rolling to the near side, completing the pass is Avenbacher. He'll get it out to Quinn Schrader. I tell you what, partner, that is some heck of a linebacker flying out there one on one with Schrader. That's Ben Burkholder, number 21. 22 tackles coming into the night and he can cover one-on-one -on, -one on the perimeter. I thought Lipsick might take a shot downfield. They had the, the receiver one-on-one, -on -one, but elected to go short to Schrader. Great tackle by Burkholder. No gain on the play is gonna lead to a fourth and about six coming up here. And now it looks like the Vikings wanna talk about what they wanna do. So time out on the field. We'll take it one as well. Fourth down for Lipsick coming up when we return. Fourth down coming up here for the Vikings. They've got the ball to Pandora Gilbo at 36 yard line. I think there was ever uh, a chance that they were going to do anything else but go for it here. Kind of stuck in no man's land. Offenbarger fires the football, has a man open, it is Jace Brecht. Brecht's going to be brought down inside the 25 and a big first down for the Vikings. Now you got to have situational football awareness, right? You're a defensive back. you got to know where the sticks are. Playing cover three, you got to break that off when your receiver puts his foot in the ground. Good route by Breck. Linebacker is too tardy to get in underneath it to help. First down, Lipsick. Game goes for 11 on a fourth and six. And the Vikings have it at the Rocket 25. Avenbacher on her center has got the split backs again. A little counter move as they go with Siefker, and Siefker going to be held to a gain of about a yard. That's one of those old influence wing T type of plays. You run the buck sweep or rocket sweep and then come back with the counter. It couldn't fool Ben Burkholder, though. He was unblocked and made the tackle. Ben Burkholder is showing out for that rocket defense. Gain of one on the play is going to bring up second and nine. Offenbacher with the handoff. This time they'll work to the left side. Going to get to Mason Raider, and Raider is going to be pushed back to the 25 where it's a loss of a yard. And Tom Andrew Miller and Lucas Deckard involved on it. What a great linebacker group for this Rocket defense. Burke Holder with 22 tackles, coming to Miller with nine, Deckard with 14, Meyer with 14, and even Aiden Morris, who plays a little bit of a hybrid at uh, linebacker and DB with 17 tackles. 
I mean, this is a group that runs to the football. You're going to be a three linebacker set. You better have guys that play that and can make tackles, and this Rocket defense has it. Yeah, Pandora Gilboa definitely does. So here's third and ten. But before we get to it, with the play clock running down to three, looks like Lipsick has taken their second timeout of the half. That's a smart timeout because you don't want to take the penalty and make it third and 15. Really tough to call plays at that position, but you get the feeling it's going to be one of these weird things that happens to break this game open, right? Both teams have had nice sustained drive that has not gotten anything out of it, but maybe a tip ball or a deep pass one-on-one -on -one type of thing will get the uh, flow going on the scoreboard. And the Rockets took the opening kick and uh, they moved in 11 plays into uh, Lipsick territory down to the 12-yard line before throwing an interception. Lipsick took over, picked up a first down before having to punt the football away. Rockets threw a second interception. And this is where we sit. Lipsick trying to drive, knocking on the door at our Dales Concrete and Decorative Stamping Red Zone. We kind of thought we'd see some more points, right? I thought so. 25 and 21 points for uh, Pandora Gilboa, and then 25 and 48 in their two games for Lipsick. Thought we'd see a bouquet of flowers in the end zone, but not so far. It's so third and 10 coming up here for Lipsick. Avenbacher gives to Raider. Raider fighting forward. We'll get a couple of yards, and it's going to be fourth down. And run the inside trap. Jose Garcia, number 75. If you're a guard and you hear trap, you love that call, right? Because you pull and the defensive tackle doesn't see you coming. You get yourself a knockout shot. Fourth and a long eight, maybe a short nine from about the 24, 23 and a half yard line. Keep an eye on Chase Breck. And they went to him last time on fourth down. Avenbacher in that pistol with a back behind him in Bader. Looks to throw, has time. Firing for the end zone, and it's caught for the touchdown. Well, Quinn Schrader able to reach up and haul that one in. Uh, I might as well call him Young Gravy because everything is hot with him. What a post route, one on one. He has Colin Harris, and he turns him around, gets inside leverage on the post. Pretty good throw. Let your great athlete go up and get it. Schrader definitely gets it done. 6 nothing. Lipsick with the lead on our Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. And Schrader, for good measure, is going to come on and attempt the extra point. The cardinal sin, if you're a safety, you don't let a receiver cross your face, especially by the goal line. That cost Pandora Gilboa. Kick by Schrader is good. Lipsick strikes first. They lead this one 7 to nothing. And we'll take a break here at WOSN. Quinn Schrader able to haul in the 23-yard touchdown pass, and that has a foot the Lipsick Vikings up seven to nothing here over Pandora Gilboa. Short kick, this one fielded just inside the 40-yard line. It's going to be a gain of about five yards on the return. No, you wonder if Pandora Gilboa will start moving their return up a little bit, right? You know, they, they spread out their return game and. Lipsick has shown that Tyler Walter is going to be the guy that just super toes it on the ground. Another good uh, set of field position, position here for Pandora Gilboa. And their starts have been their 36, their 35, and now their 42. 8.32 left to go. Opening half on our Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. It now reads 7 0 in favor of Lipsick. Run on first down will go to Aiden Morris. Morris will slip out of one tackler, cuts up field. He's going to get in Lipsick territory before finally being brought down at about the 45, 46 yard line. Yeah, about the third time already in this game, they, they've brought motion to get Aiden Morris involved in the run game. He's a young man that they try to get the ball to in the passing game now today, trying to get it in his hands, running the football. 16 catches, 150 yards, two TDs. Him and Colin Harris, they are a great one-two punch in the passing game for Pandora Gilboa. Gain of 12 on the run. It's a first down at the Lipsick 46. 
Now, trouble on the fake handoff. And Lipsick saying they have it. Officials are going to separate everyone. And it looks like it's going to be Viking football. See who came out of the bottom of the pile, partner. I didn't get a good look at who actually had the recovery. Well, Lipsick doesn't care. They just know that they have the football. Another turnover for Pandora Gilboa. And great starting position for Lipsick. Just a bad exchange. Lou Holtz, former coach at Notre Dame, Arkansas, Minnesota, everywhere. He always said he can't work on that handoff exchange enough, and you see why. Bad exchange, costly for Pandora Gilboa. And three possessions, three turnovers so far this opening half for the Rockets. Vikings take over right at the midfield stripe. Just under eight minutes left to go. Opening half on our Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. They'll fake the inside handoff, also fake the option as the Vikings go back to Tyler Lommers at quarterback. It was Andrew Miller that make it, made it very difficult. Good decision by Lommers, though, not forcing a pitch when it wasn't there. You pitch it when the running back's not ready for it, and all of a sudden you turn it back over. Good, wise decision just to survive and play another down. The loss of one on the play is going to bring up second and 11. Again, a scoreboard brought to you by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima in Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Lommers looking to throw. A nice quick out. Pass is caught. Siefker. Siefker's going to get out of bounds or more accurately, inadvertently get to the sideline, but not until he picks up a first down. You wonder if you're Tyler Clausen, the defensive coordinator over at Pandora Gilboa, if you start moving your corners up, already about the third time in this football game that Lipsick's taking advantage of that big cushion that Pandora Gilboa's given them. Pick up a 14 on the play. It's a first down at the Pandora Gilboa 37. You got one and one to the far side. Lommers has one receiver to that far side. Ball's going to go that way. Schrader tried to climb the ladder to come up with that one, but it's going to be incomplete. He tried to use the 6'3 size of Breck to out jump the defensive back on that side, Isaac Stahl. Good recognition by Stahl. There's a reason why they put that receiver so far away, right? With no help, you're getting that one on one. I like it. Lipsick trying to take a shot. Almost came down with a big play. It's going to bring up second and 10. Lommers this time under center has those split backs once again. He'll give it to the first man through who will be Mason Raider. Raider's going to get about five. Going back to that inside trap, following the lead block of Ethan Zeisloff, number 51. Got just enough of the inside tackle to spring it. Third and five coming up from the 32-yard line. Quick pitch to the left side, Schrader. Schrader trying to turn up field. Looks like he's going to be about a yard short of the first down. If you're going to run the quick pitch, you have to have athletic tackles. And Quinn Westhoven, we've seen on defense how quick he is. That time, he pulls his left tackle position, gets out in front of Schrader, gets enough. Not quite the first down, but still a workable fourth down. A fourth, and it's going to be closer to two with the ball spotted at the 29-yard line, already halfway through quarter number two here at John Edwards Field in Lipsick. Vikings get to the line, play clock down to five. We've seen them have to take a couple of timeouts already this opening half. Lommers will fake the pitch, fires middle of the field, has a man open. It's going to be a first down inside our Dales Concrete and Decorative Stamping Red Zone. Well, that's a play action pass that every wing tee team in America runs. Coach Kirkendall has some roots in that wing tee. He breaks that one out. Defense is ready to attack the line of scrimmage because it's fourth and short. All of a sudden, the linebackers are at the line of scrimmage, and they're looking, whoa, where's that tight end? Well, he's the guy catching the ball behind you. Pick up a 13 on the reception. 
It is first and 10 from the 16 yard line. Inside handoff, they go once again, Raider. Raider will get inside the 15, down to what looks like about the 12. How about the block by Quinn Schrader? Remember, he's the one that jumped up and got the touchdown on the post route. That time he says, I'm going to get dirty. I'm going to run the ISO. You can follow me, and I'm going to take on big Andrew Miller. And guess what he did? He pancaked Andrew Miller. Heck of a lead block by Schrader. The second play coming up inside the Dales Concrete and Decorative Stamping Red Zone. Call Dales Concrete and Decorative Stamping in Lipsick for all of your commercial and residential concrete needs. And Lipsick, just big boy football straight ahead. And they'll get inside the 10. Schrader's going to get down to about the 9. I like it, though. What's he do on the play before? He gets a pancake block, so you reward him. Let's give him the football in the next one. Physicality. That's what football is about. We're going to call it third and about three from the 9-yard line. Vikings already with a 7-0 lead, looking for more. Siefker is going to be the single receiver to the near side. See a pair of receivers come to the far side with Lommers. Has Raider behind him. Fake to him. Lommers going to keep it himself. Cuts up field, and he's going to have the first down. This is a play that is successful because they've been able to run the ball inside A and B gap. This time your quarterback, Lommers, keeps it. I like it because they get to the line of scrimmage partner, and what they do, they go quick. They don't wait around. The defense is scrambling a little bit. First and goal just outside the one-yard line for Lipsick. Now we will see Schrader in at quarterback. Schrader fakes, going to trip a little bit, fighting forward, waiting for a call, and he's going to get the touchdown for the Vikings. Quinn Schrader can do it all. You need him to be a lead blocker, he can do that. You need him to jump up and catch a post route, he can do that. You need him to slip, almost fall, but still get in and score a touchdown, he can definitely do that. Just got to make it entertaining. And for good measure, He's going to come on and attempt the extra point as well. High snap. That one's going to be blocked. Trent Siefker did everything he could to haul that one in to get the uh, point attempt down. Uh, Chase Meyer coming on that left-hand side for Pandora Gilboa laid out. That is a tough thing to do if you've never... Got a football to the ribs. You don't know how bad that feels. Chief Chase Meyer, big, big block texture point. We'll see if that's going to be a, a problem moving forward. But the Vikings do score the touchdown. They take the 13 0 lead. We'll take a time out here on WOSN. Tyler Walther on to attempt the uh, kickoff here for Lipsick. Want to tell you that our instant replay sponsor tonight is the Union Bank. Union Bank committed to you. Walther gets a foot into this one. Nice end over ender. Fielded at about the 21 yard line. Running straight ahead is Colin Harris. Harris will get a decent return. And now the Rockets find themselves down two scores here late in this opening half. Now, if I'm Coach Kirkendall, I might go back to just putting it on the ground because Colin Harris had that little bit of giddy up and almost a crease. He's one of those guys that scares you a little bit with the ball in his hands. Well, decision time for Pandora Gilboa. 308 left. What do you do? Do you go ahead and try to put some points on the board here? You've been turning it over, knowing if you turn it over again, this game might get out of hand before half. go with a little bit of the new wishbone look with the quarterback in the shotgun. And the handoff is going to go for about no gain. Might even be a minimal loss. It's never a good feeling if you're the ball carrier and you get the handoff and you look up and all the guys blocking for you are looking at you because that means they missed their blocks and you're going to get hit pretty hard. So no gain on the play. I'll bring up second and ten. It's Pandora Gilboa with it at their own 38. 
Clock running down to two and a half minutes left to go on our web insurance agency scoreboard. Lipsick still has one timeout. Pandora Gabol with three. Man coverage, Schrader running with him. Harris will be the man in motion. He's going to haul in the pass that far sideline. Lipsick fans didn't think Harris got completely set after going in motion. Yeah, a little bit of a, a CFL look right there. He kind of went forward. If you're in Canada, you're allowed to do that. But here in America, you have to stay even with the line of scrimmage. The best throw of the day by Girton. You see the laser that he can unleash at times. Best throw. First down to midfield is a pickup of 12. And the Rockets move in a hurry. Girton gets the snap handoff. Going back to Burkholder. Burkholder will pick up a couple of yards. They're really concerning for Pandora Gilboa because Lipstick is only using five in the box to stop the run. That means that you're with the ball carrier and the quarterback, you have seven in the box. You should beat those five. So far, that's not happening. Second and eight now with the 48-yard line as the Rockets have been able to get into Lipstick territory once again. Empty look now for PG. Curtin drops back, has time, floats one, trying on a timing route to hit Harris cutting in front of him, but he floats it a little too high and it's incomplete. That's the old Ryan Day concept that he brought here to Ohio. Runs a ton of it at Ohio State. You run the under and the under, and then a curl right behind it. Usually it works kind of a pick play with the linebackers. Had the receiver open just a little too much on it. It's going to bring up third and eight from the 48. Incomplete pass stops the clock with a minute 14 to go before halftime. Now if you're lipstick, you think about getting a stop, using your timeout, getting the football back. Girton's going to fire downfield again, has his man. This one's going to be close. See where they mark it as Chase Meyer, sophomore receiver, comes up with a reception. I thought maybe they'd give it to him where he caught it, but he continued to go back past the chain, so it's going to be fourth down in kind of a tough spot. I thought when he caught it, he was across the chains, but then took a step back, and that's where we're going to rule where it's at. And momentum kind of took him that way, and like you, it kind of thought maybe the progress would be enough. Officials disagree, and it's going to be fourth and short. Pandora Gilboa lighting, and lining up with that tight formation, just needed a yard out of Aiden Morris. Morris is going to fight forward. He's going to get a couple, and I believe the Rockets are going to take a timeout. Stops the clock, 35 seconds to go before halftime. Uh, Lipsick a little bit late in recognizing the full house backfield and getting enough men at the line of scrimmage, so not many guys on that side to block. Big first down for Pandora Gilboa with 35 seconds left and two timeouts. You have everything on your plate chart that you can call. So the gain of two will give the Rockets a first down at the Lipsick 39. They have the ball there. Again, just 35 seconds to go before halftime. You can see that on our Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. So how do you kind of play this? Well, I, I take at least one shot, right? Mm -hmm. You only have 35 seconds left. Doesn't have to be here out of the timeout, but in this series of downs, you want to take at least one shot, throw it up, see if your receiver can win a one-on-one -on -one jump ball, get yourself back in the game. Boy, if they come away with points here, with only 35 seconds left after the half was just awful for them. Mm -hmm. They're back in this football game. They got to feel pretty good at half. The Rockets lined up, ready to go. Lipsick getting set defensively. If I'm Lipsick, I widen out my safeties. Yeah, you see it there. Widen them out, getting some help. Girton looking at the throw. He's going to unload, coming to the near side. Pass is going to go through the hands of what would have been the interceptors. Tyler Lommers had a shot at it, and it ends up incomplete. Smart play by Lipsick. Took the safeties, took them outside the hash so they could help with any kind of vertical route. Man-to-man -man under, knowing that you have safety help over top. Throw was inside, should have been outside. Lommers could have had a huge interception to end this half. Brings up second and 10. Clock down to 29 seconds before halftime. Three receiver, four receiver set, excuse me. One back, he's going to be more of a blocker. The slip screen as they'll go to the other side of the field. That's going to go for a short gain, and the Rockets will take another timeout as Isaac Stahl comes up with a reception. Well, I liked it. You knew that the defense was going to give you some pressure. Pressure was coming. Give a half roll, move the secondary, come tunnel screen back, but the timing was off. 
If they would have been able to hit that on time, there was going to be a tunnel there. It would have been a first down and then some. So it's going to bring up a third and nine. Down to 21 seconds to go on our scoreboard. Again, brought to you by Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. The co-defensive coordinators here for Lipsick, John Spurgeon and uh, Kurt Steffen, have bringing, been bringing inside pressure with the linebackers, knowing that Pandora Gilboa likes to roll a little bit, see if they dial up some outside pressure, bring a linebacker to the outside, keep that quarterback inside the pocket. Big third down. As Pandora Gilboa, boy, you said it right, partner. If they manage to score here, make this a one touchdown game heading into halftime with the three turnovers that they've had, that would be huge. Watch Westhoven down here, number 77. Girton looking middle of the field, and it's going to be incomplete. I think it might have had two receivers in the same part of the field. If you want to have some fun and you're, you're a guy that likes to watch defensive line play, I'm telling you, watch Quinn Westhoven, number 77, the defensive end for the, the Vikings. That time he broke out the old Dwight Freeney spin move inside. Speed rush and then spin back inside. That is tough for a high school offensive lineman to contend with. Uh, do we call the speed rusher Rooney? Speed... <laughs> Speed spin Rooney. I don't know how to handle that one. Drop an eight for Lipsick. Fourth down. This one's going to be thrown up for grabs. Middle of the field. That one's going to be deflected away. And Pandora Gilbo is going to lose the ball on downs. And Lipsick will have it with 10 seconds to go in the half. Tyler Lommers almost had two interceptions, but he's going to get credit for two pass breakups. Tough to hit a vertical when the team's dropping eight in the coverage. Good call by the defensive staff at Lipsick. You know, what does Lipsick do here? They've got the football at the 37, 10 seconds. Do you take your two touchdown lead into the half? Or do you try to get greedy? No, I, I, I take a knee, go and feel good, knowing that you have a 13 point lead. And that appears to be the play here. Well, Lipsick players look to the sideline, they're not even sure what the play is. They are short an offensive lineman. Jose Garcia, number 75, checks in. That's one way to get your name called as an offensive lineman, right? You just wait until the camera's pointed on you, then you run out there. And now, trying to down the football. It's like miscommunication, but the official's going to let things go. And that is how our first half will end. So Lipsix is able to get a pair of touchdowns from Quinn Schrader. Also forced three turnovers in the opening, opening half by the Rockets for a 13 nothing lead. We'll have the second half for you next here on WOSN. Randy Roberts, Miles Holiday back with you here at John Edwards Field in Lipsick with the Vikings. Lead Pandora Gilboa 13 nothing. Just about ready to begin the second half of action. Partner, what kind of adjustments you making for uh, both these teams at halftime? If you're Pandora Gilboa, right, just hold on to the football a little bit. Too Seems many, simple. Too many turnovers in that first half. Got to find a way to protect your sophomore quarterback, Corey Girton. We've seen it. He's got an incredibly strong arm. Weapons on the outside. Got to give him some time, though. Haven't been able to give him any time in the pocket. And how do you do that? Well, you can start by running the football a little bit. Get down and distance in your favor. Too many long yardage third downs for them allows uh, the Lipsick defense to tee off and go get them. And if you're Lipsick, just keep playing a great defense, keeping everything in front, and they're coming up and tackling and doing just enough offensively, right? Mm -hmm. Running game, just one of those running games that kind of pesters you, gets three, four yards, nothing really big, but timely third down conversions on third and fourth down, and that's been a difference in this game. Well, we talked to uh, Lipsick head coach Joe Kirkendall before the game and uh, asked him a few questions about what was going on with the quarterback position. He explained that we were going to see both Tyler Lommers, Tommy Offenbacher play, and his hope was that eventually one guy would kind of take the reins and win the battle, much like I'm sure Ohio State fans are worried about the quarterback battle in Columbus. 
still seems pretty even so far through the opening half here. Boy, the whole state of Ohio has just been living and dying on who's going to be the quarterback for the Buckeyes. Not the every, entire state. Every single, well, those of us that aren't UT Rocket fans, how about that? They take Mr. Flynn from Toledo, take him down there. He might have a shot to play, but... You know, I kind of like what Lipsick is doing. Move the quarterbacks in and out, a little bit different flavor on mm -hmm. who's underneath center. That is tough for a defense to recognize real quick because they don't spend a lot of time on the line of scrimmage. They snap it and go. It is tough for a defense to figure out what's going on. So it will be Lipsick ball as we begin the third quarter. And again, our scoreboard tonight brought to you by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. All of our instant replays tonight are brought to you by the Union Bank. Union Bank committed to you. When someone gets into the red zone, it is the Dales Concrete and Decorative Stamping Red Zone. Call Dales Concrete and Decorative Stamping in Lipstick for all of your commercial and residential concrete needs. Well, how about that little surprise on side? And Pandora Gilboa catches Lipstick napping, and they're going to have Great starting position. How do you like that call coming out of halftime? You need something to kickstart what's going on. Break out the old surprise onside. Uh, great field position once again for the Rockets on the onside. They're going to be at the Lipsick side of the field at the Viking 45. They drove inside the Dales Concrete and Decorative Stamping Red Zone to the 12. The opening drive of the night before throwing an interception. And now we're going to get a whistle, and we got a flag coming in. I think too many men on the field for Lipsick. A little sudden change situation, and couldn't figure out who's supposed to be on defense, and they have 12. And again, if you're north of the border, you're okay, but here in the States, you're not allowed to have 12. We'll have to confer with our newspaper friends, but I believe that's going to be the first penalty of the night. Well, for you and I, that's a good thing because <laughs> they owe us Flags, after Crestview yeah. and people, Parkway. People see Miles and Randy walk in, they groan, and then there are flags a flying. We haven't had much of that this evening. First and five, you got momentum after the onside kick. If you're Pandora Gilball, go ahead and take a shot here. Here's the handoff. And on second effort, oh. after being hit once, fumble at the end of the play. Official is blowing it dead. They're going to give the sticks say that he was down. It was Andrew Miller with the call who got the yardage for the first down. And Miller stumbles for a first down and blows a tire while doing it. The shoe comes off. He has to come out and put that shoe back on. Gain of about seven on the run near the 33. He might be inside the 33, close to the 32. Well, you remember the first drive of this game, Pandora Gilboa did a good job running between the tackles. Since then, they haven't had a whole lot of luck, but getting that running game going again here. Going right back to it. This time they turned it over to Ben Burkholder. Burkholder, their number one rusher, is able to get a good gain on first down. They're going some tempo here, running that inside zone for big yardage. Second and short, see if you can keep Lipsick scrambling on defense. Gain of about eight is going to bring up second and short. Burke Holder is going to get enough for the first down as he'll get to the 20 yard line. You wonder if Pandora Gilboa keeps gashing this lipstick, lipstick defense, if he might get a timeout, settle things down. Ever since that onside kick, it's been all Pandora Gilboa. Well, the Rockets now in the Dales Concrete decorative stamping red zone. They've got it first and 10 from the Lipsick 20. Is Burkholder again trying to stretch this play out, but Lipsick's able to read that one, stop it for a short gain. Brought Aiden Morris that time in a quick little motion to help seal the edge. If you're a secondary player and you see that motion, you got to call it out to your defensive end, let them know that a crack is coming. Good job because they haven't been able to handle Quinn Westhoven at that right defensive end spot all night. You can't handle them one-on-one, one, you're gonna have to double them. That's why they brought the motion. Gain of three on the run brings up second and seven from the 17. See a late player coming onto the field, Chase Myers gonna be the receiver to the bottom of your screen. Gurton all alone now, he's going to have Morris come into the backfield. Morris 
running that left side. Again, that is iffy on whether or not he gets set before the offense goes. Yeah, it was close, wasn't it? Officials gave him the benefit of the doubt on that one. But you think at halftime, maybe Coach Hershey said, run game, run game, run game. That was the message at half. That's what he talked to us in the uh, opener about. Mm -hmm. Looks like these offensive line is responding. Gain of two on the run is going to bring up third and five from the 15. Girton looking to throw as a man juggled. And it looks like pass is going to be caught for the first down held in there by Carson Meyer. And had to catch it twice to get the credit for it once, but he does a good job on Meyer. The concentration that is a tough ball. Receivers running a slant. They don't want the football at the eyes. They want it at the chest. Makes it tough. Boy, you see the pace that the quarterback Girton can put on that football. Gain of eight sets up a first and goal from the seven. Trying to power their way back in Burkholder. Burkholder still moving forward. That pile looks stopped, but the officials let it go. And Burkholder, with some help, is going to get down inside the five. Burkholder, the power runner, and they're going to go quickly. Unbalanced line, straight T. Trying to catch Lipsick with the substitution and stretching out to the right side and into like into the end zone. Well, he fell in the end zone, but nobody has signaled touchdown yet. Uh, Morris was in. There was no signal. They're lining up for the extra point. But lining up. In the history of football, one guy raises his hands up to let everybody know it's a touchdown, but no signal on that one. So Aiden Morris is going to score from three yards out. We are all quite confused up at the press box. A little bit of confusion in the <laughs> press box and on the field as Pandora Gilbo running a guy on. Didn't realize they were going to need their extra point team on as Skylar Richardson on to attempt the extra point. Harris will be the holder. Richardson sends this one high into the night, and the extra point is good. So Morris will score from three yards out, pulls the Rockets to within a score. Now 13-7, we'll take a break here in WOSN. Lane Lee on to kick for Pandora Gilboa. Now 13-7 in our Web Insurance Agency scoreboard following the three-yard touchdown run by Aiden Morris. And we will see the Vikings of Lipsick officially with their first possession. Don't forget, partner, that touchdown drive started with the onside kick to begin the second what half. What a call by Matt Hershey, huh? Sweet like a chocolate bar on that call. Hershey dials up a great onside surprise. And it really kick-started this Pandora team. And looks like kind of reeling still from that. Vikings will start from their own 31. And I believe we see get a Balls better look. On the ground. Trouble on the snap. Tommy Offenbacher starting at quarterback to begin the second half. All right, so I'll tell you this. As a former center, all bad exchanges. Quarterback's it, fault. It is always the quarterback's fault. And that is a problem sometimes when you have two different quarterbacks coming in under center. They don't get the anticipation. They pull out a little bit too early. Because as a center, you put the ball in the same spot every single time, right? Unless the ball is wet, something happens. So that's the quarterback's fault. I always stand up for my centers. It's no gain on the plays. Lipsick able to recover. Now second to 10 from the 31. Two receivers to the far side and split backs. Now about the... Halfback throw, going to lay this one out, reaching out, making the grab, will be Chase Brecht as Quinn Schrader throws a perfect pass. A Chase Brecht, just the extension and the dive to go get it. Yeah, first great call to half was to Matt Hershey on the onside kick. Well, Joe Kirkendall says, I see you, and I raise you one with a halfback pass. How about Schrader? Catch, throw, block, he can do it all. 38 yards on the play. It's a first down. Schrader had a 54-yard touchdown pass earlier this season as well. See a man going in motion. 
Handoff's going to be the first and second man through, excuse me, I believe it was Schrader again. He'll get down to the 25 yard line. And Schrader led of his Carrillo that carried Carrillo, that excuse time. me, yep. Four leading six for about six yards, and momentum has now changed again. Also has uh, awoken the Lipsick fans who are getting a little nervous following that touchdown drive. I go back to that throw by Schrader. You know how tough that is? You haven't thrown a football all night long and then pull up and just throw a rocket 40 yards downfield. And now here is the pitch, turning it upfield. Trent Siefker. Siefker will get to about the 20 yard line. We get just inside of it. It's going to be enough for a Lipsick first down. Now the old rocket sweep. If you're a Old Flexbone, Navy, Georgia Tech, Paul Johnson type of fan. You're used to seeing that kind of play. It's a great play when you're not huge up front. You get on the perimeter, let your running backs and receivers lead the way. First down to the 19. It's just inside our Dales Concrete and Decorative Stamping Red Zone. Calls Dales Concrete, Decorative Stamping, and Lipstick for all of your commercial and residential concrete needs. Avenbacher under center once again. Ball Lost again. it for a second time. Viking, or I'm sorry, Rocket players saying they have the football and they will. And showing the ball to the crowd, Dalton Durst, the senior defensive lineman, number 76. Yeah, Durst had himself a fantastic first half where he had that big clothesline tackle in the backfield. That time, alertly finds the football on the bad exchange and gets a huge turnover from Pandora Gilboa as Lipsick looked like they were going to answer the early score by Pandora Gilboa early in this half. Rockets take over, 5.35 to go in the third quarter. Under Web Insurance Agency scoreboard, they have the football, their own 19 down a score. Handoff goes to Morris. Trying to stretch that out, keeps fighting for yardage, and he's going to get out to the 25. Nice coach in there by Coach Hershey. Head coach and play caller over there for Pandora Gilboa. Going empty because he sees that Lipsick is empty in the box. Only four in the box at time, and then you refill it, bring the motion, and you're now running the football against four guys. Pick up six, brings up second and four. You see the linebackers out of the box, looking between the tackles, three guys down and one linebacker behind it. That tells you run the football. I'm trying to get a pass to the near side, coming back to Morris. And Morris will get out across the 30. And it looks like that's going to be enough for a rocket first down. Morris second on this team with 16 catches coming in today. The yards per catch is low for this team, though. Only about 9.8 yards per catch. But they're going to take that one because it moves the chains. Pick up eight is enough for a first down. Just under four and a half minutes left to go. Third quarter on Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. Chase Meyer hurrying off the field. Going back to Morris, trying to cut up field again on the stretch play. Flag comes in at the end of this. And it's going to be a hold against Pandora Gilboa. You wondered with 12 men on the field if they were going to call legal participation, but they got off the field quickly. It's only when we let you play. Nobody on the man on the field when I'm on there. Nobody wants that. So the hold will back up the Rockets. Yeah, first down and 20. Try to get it to a workable third down and 10 with your first two calls of this series. Viking showing a little bit of pressure. Gurton might have had to throw that a little uh, sooner than he wanted to. Pass is going to be incomplete. Trying to hit Chase Meyer on a slant. And as a young quarterback, a lot of times you just try to throw with the arm. No learn. You got to get your fundamentals. You got to get that lead toe pointed towards your target. Because if you throw open, the ball is going to sail on you. You drop the elbow and you push it. And that's what Gurton did. 
Brings him second and 20 back at the 23 yard line. Gert in the shotgun. Firing again. This pass is going to be caught. Chase Meyer with it down the sideline. Finally, he'll get knocked out of bounds inside the 35. As it has to be Quinn Schrader, he's got to race over and knock him out at about the 32. Well, you see why they love Girton at Pandora Gilboa. He's got a big time arm. That's a throw that shouldn't be completed against a cover two. The safety should get there over the top. John Gruden used to call that, put it in the turkey hole. The spot between the corner and the safety is a laser to get that complete. 35 yards on the reception. And now the handoff goes to Miller working inside. He'll get down to the 30. Might mark him just inside the 30. And there. Officials looking to respot the football. They do. Back about half a yard. Now how big was that recovery by Durst to start this drive? Looked like Lipsick was going to seize control of the game again. And now Pandora Gilboa knocking. Gurton with another handoff. As the Rockets just kind of gashing that Lipsick defense, going with Andrew Miller. Yeah, best run for them all night long. Pandora Gilboa dial up inside zone. Getting some double teams, working up the linebacker. Let your running back make the cut. Good cut that time for another first down. Yeah, Miller picks up nine on the run. First down just outside our Dale's Concrete Decorative Stamping Red Zone. See a man go in motion again. Back to Miller right up the middle looking for the quarter. And finally, he's going to be brought down inside the five as Schrader has to uh, bulldog him down from the neck. A great wham block. You bring the motion. Carson Meyer comes in. You let the nose tackle go because he's going to wham him. That springs the run. Creative blocking on the run game. Pandora Gilboa knocking on the door. Gain of 18 on the run. It's a first and goal from the three-yard line now inside the Dales Concrete Decker stamping red zone. Straight ahead and getting into the end zone once again. Aiden Morris for the three yard touchdown run. Oh, how quickly things have changed in this football game at halftime. Looked like Lipsick was going to run away. Nobody told Pandora or Gilboa this game was over. They have come back in a mean way. Aiden Morris with the second run of the night, his second three yard touchdown run of the night as well. Skyler Richardson on to attempt the extra point. His holder, Colin Harris, calling for one more player. Well, they're consistent on this one, right? Anytime you go for an extra point, you have to run a guy out late. Everyone is set. Kick by Richardson in the air. The extra point sneaks inside the upright, and it is good. Well, what a third quarter by the Rockets of Pandora Gilboa. They have marched back and taken the lead. We'll take a break here on WOSN. Well, partner, how about a third quarter for Pandora Gilboa? The onside kick, fumble recovery, two touchdown drives. It's now gone from down 13 nothing to up 14-13. When you play Pandora Gilboa, they're like the rapper prof. You better pack a lunch, pack a lunch, pack a lunch, because they're going to make you work all day. And we got a flag on the kickoff as Pandora trying another squib onside kick. Sometimes a kicker will kick it without the official giving the whistle, and I think maybe that's what occurred. Official has to give you the whistle that like, go ahead and let's go. And now we're going to talk about it for a long time. And do you remember the blocked extra point? Looked like it was going to be kind of a moot point at the time because mm -hmm. Lipsick was up 13 nothing, And I think it was Chase Meyer that got that. He laid out, took one right into the grill on the kick. Now that looms large in this football game. So we're going to have a penalty. And it looks like Pandora Gilboa backed up. 
So the uh, consensus talk in the press box is that Pandora Gilboa had 12. That increases your odds of getting the onside kick. It does. However, it is not playing by the rules. Yeah. And uh, special teams, so tough. You know, we made a joke about the extra point running a guy in late. You know how many times you're on that sideline and you say the kid's name, hey, aren't you on extra point? And they look at you and they go, oh, yeah. And then they run out real late. You could count it up a million times throughout the week, and it still happens. Is coach speaking from experience there, huh? Yeah. I'm telling you, Randy, on a Thursday, you go through your special teams like four times. You count 11. You do it on Friday after your team meal. You do it in pregame, and it still happens. You know, you, you, guys just kind of lose their mind in the moment. I don't understand why you don't want to go back down on the sideline. <laughs> There's got to be things better than sitting up here hanging out with me every Friday night. Ellipsic able to recover the kick. They're going to start at their own 41 here late in our third quarter. Vikings in a position they haven't been all night, and that is trailing. And they're just going to go to their main man, Quinn Schrader, who's going to get a first down in Iraqi territory. That's like a couple Pandora defenders are down as well. And if you're Coach Kirkendall, and whatever you're using to highlight the plays on your plate call sheet, circle that one because you're going to come back to that one soon. Schrader almost got that one to break. It's 11 on the run. And it looks like a couple players might have both just cramped up a little bit. It looks like they might have ran into each other. Oh, I think take a look at the injured players. We'll take a time out here on WOSN. Miles, a bit of a double whammy for Pandora Gilboa, losing uh, two guys there. I you know, don't know if they ran into each other or just the, uh, the cramps caught them. What can you tell us about the injuries? Uh, Lucas Decker, number six, middle linebacker. Looked like he had an ankle issue. And then uh, Colin Harris, number one. It looked like it was a calf issue. They're going to continue to work on him on the sideline and hopefully get those guys back on the football field. They're fantastic players. So... We will resume with a first down for the Vikings. They've got the ball to Pandora Gilboa. 47 here. Run on first down, and they're going to go to Carrillo. Carrillo's going to get about a yard. A play to design to get outside, but Burkholder met the purple jerseys on their side of the football, forced it back inside. That's great defense. Turn it back in so your buddies make the tackle. Looked like it was going to be a play that sprung, but Burkholder. Pushes it back in, only a gain of one. Second and nine from the 46. Yeah, Lommer. Go ahead. Lommer's under center, has a man in motion. They'll give to the first man through, who's going to be absolutely stuffed at front line of Pandora Gilboa. Andrew Miller slid to the middle with Deckard out, and that was a good move for pa Pandora Gilboa because he slammed a door in a hurry. I was starting to say earlier that Burkholder, boy, he is just a fun football player to watch yeah, for Pandora is. Gilboa, a guy that just relishes contact, seemingly always in the right spot. Uh, through the first two games, is averaging nine tackles, two of them for loss. He's got to be close to that here so far tonight. Third down and about eight coming up here for the Vikings. Once again, trying to get the ball to the outside. Schrader able to cut up field Inside the 40, he's going to stretch out and still be a couple of yards shy of first down. Not, no decision, right? You go for it here. You're down by one. Pandora Gilboa's had momentum in this second half. Last play of the qu quarter, it looks like. Now, go fourth, ahead and go for it. Fourth and two. Lipsick does not need to run another play. See, maybe you tried to draw him off sides here. I think he snap and go with Schrader. Kind of caught Pandora Gilboa moving a little bit, and they do get the quick snap. And exactly as Miles said, they go with Carrillo, and he's able to get the first down. Yeah, it was the same formation that they used on the Schrader touchdown for their second score of the game. This time, Schrader hands it off. 
for a huge first down, keeping this drive alive for Lipson. That is going to be the final play of the third quarter. We'll take a break. We expect a fantastic fourth quarter, and we'll have it for you next here on WOSN. Fresh set of downs for Lipsick as we move on to the fourth quarter. 14-13, Pandora Guild Bowl with the lead over the Vikings on our Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. And now we will see Lommers rolling to throw under pressure as he gets rid of the football, fires it incomplete. Trying to get it into Trent Siefker. A great play by Aiden Morris, trailing across, playing the inside hit when the ball is thrown. Go ahead and get the position, uses that right hand, doesn't interfere and knocks it to the ground. Second and 10 coming up for the Vikings, trying to come back from down a point, led this one 13-0, but a pair of uh, three-yard touchdown runs from Aiden Morris in the third quarter has given the visiting Vikings the, or I'm sorry, the Rockets the one-point lead. And it runs straight ahead, Carrillo. Carrillo looked like he was stood up and then still fought for it. He'll get down to the 30 where he's going to pick up six. Got to be concerning for Pandora Gilboa. Defensive coordinator Tyler Clausen. When the running back is just holding on to the lineman in front of him because your guys are getting moved off the line of scrimmage. Great initial push by that right-hand side of Lipsick's offense. It looks like another uh, cramping issue coming up here for Pandora Gilboa. Miles is going to take the glasses off, put the real seeing eyes on. <laughs> see what he's able to. I believe I make out a seven on the first number. 76. Yeah. It's gonna be Dalton Durst who came up with that big Fumble recovery off the bat exchange by Lipsick, and yeah, you called a cramp, and exactly that's what it looks like. It's trainers, coaches looking at Durst, so see uh, if they're able to help him up. We're still going to talk to Durst. So while they tend to the injured player, we're going to take a time out here. 11.37 to play. We'll resume on WOSM. Looks like uh, with the help of a trainer and maybe a coach, Dalton Durst able to uh, make his way back to the sideline. 11.37 left to go at our Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. 14-13, Pandora Gilbo with lead over Lipsick, but the Vikings driving. They are at the Rocket 30 with a third down coming up here. Third down run. Is going to go just off tackle to the right side. Going with Estevan Carrillo. Carrillo is going to be about a yard, yard and a half or so shy. And Lipsick with no hesitation here is going to go for it on fourth down. I like the play call selection by Lipsick though, right? Three defenders out of that starting unit for Pandora Gilboa. Keep going at them, see how physical they want to be with substitutes in the game. Fourth down and short. Got to be an inside run, but I always loved quarterback sneak here. Get your running backs to push your quarterback going forward. Tough to stop. Come out with a single receiver. Everyone's going to be backed up for Lommers. And now play clock was down to one. So the Vikings are going to take a timeout. So that will give us the opportunity to tell you that our instant replays tonight is sponsored by the Union Bank. Union Bank committed to you. We also want to let you know that the WOSN Scores app is new and improved. Download the brand new app from your app score so you don't miss any of your team's favorite scores. The new WOSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today. Stay up to date on all the scores. can tell you that uh, both Miles and I do just that. Yeah, especially at halftime. We're always amazed at the scores. Open it up. And then we get shocked looks on our face. And you say, did you see this one? Did you see that one? Stay up to date, especially Friday nights during football season, but uh, during the week as well. And the uh, timeout also going to help Lipsick out. We're going to see 
Someone being attended to by the training staff right in front of us on the Lipsick bench. Third game of the year. Kind of surprised that we're seeing so much cramping issues. Not an overly hot night as well. Maybe next Friday when the weather, the heat returns. So fourth and short straight ahead. Pile's going to move. Was it enough? Pandora Gilboa coaches say no. Officials are going to come in. And this is going to be... Oh, so close with yeah. Carrillo. Matt Hershey jumped up and down, letting everybody know that he's still pointing and he's going to get the call. Pandora Gilboa defensively shuts the door on fourth and one. Tremendous work, and I believe that was Andrew Miller that came firing through and plugged that hole up. Big stop for the Rocket defense. You know, the Rockets trying to make this two in a row, and again, it's two schools meeting for the 69th time. Lipsick leading the all-time series 38, 29, and one. And a big stop on downs. And with 10.42 to play, Rockets have it and they'll run the football. And it's Jackson Spitnell, number nine. Saw the guard in front of him blocked down Tried to catch it from behind. If he flattens out, he meets the runner at the line of scrimmage, but he chased it. Thus the positive yardage and first down and 10 for Pandora Gilboa. And the pick up six of the runs, gonna bring up second and four from the 33. And now you gotta believe the Rockets will be in no hurry with a one point lead. 10 minutes to go. Hand off to Miller and he's trying to stretch this out. And it's going to take about six purple jerseys. The, oh, I, I want to say the purple people eaters every time I see a purple. Another rocket down on the ground. Lipsick jumped to a four-man front that time. Kind of confused. PG setting up a crucial third down and short. Look, the injured player for Pandora Gilbo will take another break here on WOSN. Uh, Pandora Gilboa got to be a little concerning now at this point, don't they, partner? Yeah, it'd be four starters uh, offensively and defensively now out of the game for them. And anytime you lose someone on the line of scrimmage, you leave that, that cohesiveness that the five guys up front have together. The well, Rockets have a third and two coming up here, running straight up the middle off the shotgun will be Aiden Morris. Morris is going to get the first down as he's going to get out to about the 38-yard line. And a little bit of a generous spot. I thought this second bounce got him the first down, but when he initially hit the ground, I thought he was going to be a little bit short, but the second bounce, the officials are going to say, no, we're going to give it to you. First down and 10. And Pandora Gilboa can really shorten this game by getting first downs. That clock continues to run. That's exactly what the Rockets want to do here. Now under nine and a half minutes left to play in our Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. Another run, another big hit, but able to bounce off of it is Andrew Miller. Miller is going to get to the sideline or close to it. It might be a loss of a yard on the run. Zlipsik was able to push that one back. Early in this drive, number nine, Jackson Spitnall missed a tackle in the backfield for a loss. Not that time. He came up and had a great run fit, and you heard the collision up here. Stomping at the line of scrimmage. Great job by Spitnall. I was say no gain on the play. It's like a Lipsick player was able to run off on his own. Jackson Spitnell hit the, made the hit. You can see him right here help with the help of a couple of his teammates needing a moment. Stretch play trying to get to the outside. A great job from behind. Getting the stop of that is Mike Jimenez. Uh, how about Jimenez coming inside out? You always tell your linebackers if you see daylight and you can get there, go ahead and take it. Jumped it, had an open spot, got it from behind and then the strength to get the runner to the ground. Limits the run to just two yards, and now we see cramping coming up for Lipsick, and not a player they want to see is Trent Sievker, senior receiver and defensive back. Yeah, I believe oh, sorry, it's 18. Dion Baldazzo. My bad. 
Well, 18 and 19, they're, they're close, right? And, yeah, you're okay there. I know numbers can be confusing at times, but Baldozo, no confusion there. It looks like a cramp. If I was good at math, I'd be a banker. But you never see poor bankers, do you? <laughs> you are correct. And speaking of banks, we want to tell you that our instant replay sponsor is the Union Bank. Union Bank committed to you. So while they take a look at the injured player, take another time out here. It's 20 left to play in a one-point game with WOSF. Good to see the injured player for Lipsick able to uh, make his way to the sideline. Who is not Trent Seifker. Neon Dion Baldazzo with that cramp. Huge third down for Pandora Gilboa. They could eat some more time off. They pick up this first down. Third and eight, looking to throw. Rolling out, pass is going to be incomplete. As Girton's attempt will short hop the intended target, who appeared to be Aiden Morris. As Quinn Westhoven had made it difficult for the quarterback Girton to throw it, he worked. They put him at left defensive end this time to wide side of the field. He worked through the tackle, and then the lead back, they tried to seal it. He wouldn't have it. Got in the face of Girton, forced to throw before he wanted to. It's going to be hard to believe in a game that's 14-13. This will be... Pandora Gilboa's first punt of the night. Well, how many drives in that first half ended with a turnover? Three. Yeah, so thus the reason they haven't punted the ball a great deal. A good punt, too. This one will send the return man back. Well, you saw Schrader made the right move by not fielding that. He, he wanted to. He thought about it. But he, he saw the white jerseys and thought better. If you're Lipsick, now you start thinking, you're down by one. How many more possessions are you going to get in this game? You're going to have to start cashing in, trailing by one. Not a tremendous kicking game, so you got to think about touchdowns. You know you have one possession at least, possibly two, maybe three. The start looks like from about their own 18-yard line. Lommers' first pass. In the middle of the field is going to be incomplete. Now, Lipsick thought Chase Meyer had gotten there early, made contact with Schrader, caused the incompletion. That ball skipped. Schrader couldn't come up with it. And there was a little bit of collision before the ball got there, but the officials are going to say no. It's going to bring second and 10, about the 17-yard line. We, we've seen worse called. You know, yeah. on that. Yeah. If they would have called interference on that, it, it would have been believable. But one of those the officials said not enough to get the flag. Lommer's in a shotgun looking to throw once again. Pass is going to come to the near sideline as it's caught by Seifker. Seifker gets out of bounds here with just under eight to play. Good rally by the secondary of Pandora Gilboa. Throw short, hit short. Sets up third down and five. You, you wonder if Pandora Gilboa roll the secondary up, take away those short throws. You see what defensive coordinator Tyler Clawson, Clawson dials up for the Rockets. Lommer's in a shotgun once again. Has three receivers with a sidecar to his right. Rolls to the far side, looking to throw. Pass is going to be knocked away. Incomplete, nice job, Isaac Stahl. Knock that one away and bring up fourth down. Now Isaac Stahl knew exactly where the chains were, knew the outside receiver was going to have an outbreaking route by his alignment, and he was right there on the spot. Great situational defense by the secondary Pandora Gilboa. Fourth down coming up here. And the Vikings will send Offenbacher out to punt. Lipsick counting, making sure they have 11. And linemen running on late. And you don't kick it to Morris. Kick it away from him. An electric player with the ball in his hands. Hoffenbacher sends this one. And it's going to get a home bounce and roll. 
and is downed quickly at the 43-yard line. Is where Pandora Gilboa will take over. Lipsick has been playing predominantly with five, maybe six in the box all evening long, stopping that Pandora Gilboa run game. Let's see if they start filling it up a little bit more, knowing that Pandora Gilboa is going to want to run the football and shorten this game, holding on to that really tight one point lead. Full house look. Vikings from their own 43. Handoff goes to the right side, Aiden Morris. Morris will get out near midfield. Now the vision of Morris paid off there. Good cut. Put that weight on the outside foot. Get vertical with those shoulder pads. First down win for the Rockets, getting six yards. Second and four from the 49. Rockets with a one-point lead in no hurry here with just over seven minutes remaining at a Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. See the quarterback, Corey Girton, looking at that play clock. And the Vikings knew it was coming. He's able to stuff that second down run. Good point by you, Girton. Stopped himself from getting under center at 10 seconds. Way to get inside of five seconds before he snapped it. Rockets going quickly. Full house look again. No gain on the play this time. They send a receiver to the near side. Third and four coming up from the 49. He's trying to catch Lipsick off sides here. Now looking over the sideline. Still plenty of time. Play clock just now getting to 10. They're going to change the call or call timeout inside of five seconds. I think Hershey's going over to the official. He's going to call timeout. That is exactly the case. So the timeout on the field will take one as well. Third down coming up for Pandora Gilboa will win the return. Both teams breaking their huddles now. Third and about four coming up for Pandora Gilboa. On their own side of the field, the 49. Trying to salt away the final 6.08 of this one. Still in that T formation. Back to Morris. He's got to stop. Cuts up field. He's going to get about a yard or two, but not enough for the first down. Had some positive yards. Looked like he was going to get some more yardage after the first hit, but then big number 99, Tyler Walter. Came a rush in and smacked him. Sets up a fourth down. Pandora Gilboa looks like they're going to go here, partner. Boy, this is a huge moment in this game if they snap this football. Fourth and two, Pandora Gilboa at the Lipsick 49, leading by a point with five and a half minutes to play. Now they'll spread out. Do you think about a quick kick? And problems with a snap, and that might be a positive thing that there were some whistles. Yeah, sometimes you can be too cute, right? You give a look and then you shift to it at the last second and then you're going to snap it and it doesn't look like you're going to get it. The false start might bail them out from a bad call. Yeah, you had to snap back to Morris who had to one-hand the football. Never like when you snap it back seven, eight yards to go two yards. That, that always bothers me. You're in your T formation to play before. Why not stay there? But this is going to be a blessing for Pandora Gilboa getting the penalty. Now they can punt the football away with 526. Sends it back to their own 46. So fourth and two turns into fourth and seven. As Miles said, that changes the call. Rockets will punt this one away. Looking at the fake. Oh, Morris will send this one deep into the night down that sideline. And we'll see where they spot this one at. Yeah, it's the rugby punt where if you get the end sealed, the punter has the opportunity, his call, to go ahead and take it and see if he can pick up the first down by running the football. That time they, they went ahead and punted the ball in one of our favorite moments when the official walks up and down the sideline trying to spot the kick when it goes out of bounds. I feel like in honor of Bob Barker, we should have the... Uh, the yodeler. The yodeler. 
We're going to mark this at about the 15-ish. You brought up Bob Barker. Did you see, you know, he died at age 99, and the, the meme going around that he got close to 100 without going over. How appropriate it was. What, what joy that guy brought all these years. How many times you stay home from school and you got to watch The Price is mm -hmm. Right. And, of course, Plinko, right? What would life be without That's Plinko? Right. So they're going to mark it for the Vikings, their own 15, 505 to go on our Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. Going for a home run ball here on first down. Jump ball. And winning the battle again will be Chase Brecht. And he's going to come away with a first down as Quinn Schrader is to come on and deliver a beautiful pass. Something they tried earlier in the game in the first half. Jump ball. One on one. Let Brecht go and get it. This time he comes down with it. 50-50 ball, but with him, it's more like 75-25. 26 yards on the catch, and it's a first down now. Lommers in at quarterback. See three receivers. Handoff goes to Carrillo. Nowhere to go on first down. Boy, how about the sudden impact that time by the linebacker, Carson Meyer. <laughs> You want to run the football inside? Well, Carson Meyer is going to say, no, you're not going to. Looked like positive yards, and he just slammed the door shut in a hurry. Yeah, somehow game two on that play brings up second and eight, just shy of the 43-yard line. Lommers back to throw once again. Floats one middle of the field, and a little tug with the juggling catch is Schrader, and he's going to waltz into the end zone for the Lipsick touchdown. They ran the post against a too high safety look in the first half for a touchdown. Come back to it. Go back to Mr. Electricity. Schroeder again with a big play. Partner, he was even interfered with. Tipped it to himself. And how about the styling and profiling with the number one in the air as he crosses the goal line. 57 yards has put the Vikings back in front, 19-14. Now you have to do a little two-point math here late in this football game. Thanks to the blocked extra point, the Vikings are going to go for two. Lommers under center. Here's that quick pitch, Carrillo. A reverse field, the throw, and open is so get the number. Is that Seifker, I believe? Trent Seifker caught it. The old Philly special from the Super Bowl, the reverse, and then the receiver throws it into the flat. Nobody there. Katie Bardador, easy two points for Lipsick. Oh, what a turn of events. The 57 yard play has put Lipsick in front, Vikings with a seven point lead. And we'll take a timeout here on WOSN. Just like that, the Lipsick Vikings, their fans making some noise. John Edwards Stadium, 21-14, thanks to the juggling 57-yard touchdown reception called in by Quinn Schrader, his third score of the night, and it's given the Vikings the lead once again against their Putnam County rival in Pandora Gilboa. Rockets get it, Morris on the return, has a seam, and he's gonna get out across the 35 yard line. Still plenty of time, 348 left to go in our Web Insurance Agency scoreboard for the Rockets to go for the tie. Yeah, both teams sitting with two timeouts in their pocket to use them. Pandora Gobo, a 348 left. You don't have to think throw, throw, throw here. You can still mix in some run with two timeouts but you better get your best work in right here. Not many drives left in this football game. Rockets take over at their own 38. Good opportunity to tell you again that our instant replay is brought to you by the Union Bank. Union Bank committed to you. Pointing to the uncovered receivers there, partner. Oh boy, did Lipsit get away with one. 
Nobody came out on the outside receiver. That was Isaac Stahl. Pandora could not check off in time to run a vertical to him. Quinn Schrader was looking to the sideline. Who, who has the outside receiver? Oh, nobody did. They're going to move uh, Quinn Schrader outside on top of him. Instead, it's a run of three by Bergholder, second and seven from the 41. Durton looking to throw, fires this one into traffic. It's going to be incomplete. Closest player to that one was Estevan Carrillo. Problem is he's wearing colors of the opposing team. A big Tyler Walter getting some pressure from his nose tackle position. Forced that throw to come out a little bit too quick. Now third down coming up here. One thing you don't want to do if you're Pandora is run about 30 seconds off the clock, give it back to Lipsick. Yeah, well, sitting with only two timeouts left, you'd have to get a three and out in a hurry. Come out with two receivers each way. Gerton looking to throw again, fires towards the sideline. It's Chase Meyer that catches it. They're going to say he had it or no? No, he said it was out of bounds. So incomplete. It's now fourth and about seven from the 41-yard line. Rockets leave the offense on the field, 3.04 to go. And now I believe the Vikings want to talk about this one. A little surprised that they called the timeout before they saw the formation. A lot of times you let the offense come out, see what the formation is, and call the old basketball timeout so you can then talk to your guys about the alignment, what they'd like to do out of it. They call timeout to make sure they have the coverage right. Fourth down and long here. Do you play coverage, make them throw through eight guys, or you bring some pressure? I think you leave seven in coverage, bring a guy from outside, get inside the, the head, the, the mind of the young quarterback. Gerton, see if you can rush a throw. Corey Gerton, the sophomore, has played pretty well. Shook off the two early interceptions. Lead this team. So 3.04 left to go in our scoreboard tonight. Brought to you by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. And Pandora Gilboa starts with protection. Make sure you give your quarterback time. Find out where Quinn Westhoven, number 77, is aligning for a Lipsick. You see there, they're talking to him on that Lipsick huddle. And then if you have to use a back to go chip him, do whatever you can. Don't let Westhoven get in the backfield. He's got a great get off. Both teams in deep conversations with their coaches here. Talk a lot about hyperbole about big plays. Partner, this is a big play. No, it sure is, right? Pandora Gilboa needs a first down in the worst way. Fourth to look. Fourth down. Gerton looking to throw. Fires, pass is caught. Goes to the far sideline. Chase Miller with it. Gets to the midfield stripe. That's going to be enough for a first down. Go back to that single route with Chase Meyer on the outside, juggled it moments ago. At that time, the timing route pays off. Rockets quickly get to the line. They have two timeouts remaining. Lipsick with one. Curtin in the shotgun. Gets the snap, has the extra man in to block. Pass is caught. Receiver is going to stay in bounds. Picks up about four. Five, and I believe again he's going to hit Chase Meyer in that far side. Mason Rader, number 21, playing the right defensive end. Tremendous textbook-like swim move on the inside to beat his tackle through B-gap. Got some pressure quickly. Second and five now from the Lipsick 45. Curtin leaves the... Running back in is the extra blocker. He's going to come to the near side. This one might have left his hand funny. It's intercepted. And who else but Quinn Schrader comes away with it. Flags down. Schrader's going to run out of bounds. And the officials are going to have to take a minute to sort this one out. Tons of extracurricular activity during the return. Oh, Quinn Schrader. Some kind of football player, isn't he? 
absolutely does everything for this Lipstick team. And I, I will go ahead and break this story right now. At halftime, he was selling hot dogs and popcorn in a concession stand. And I heard on road games, he drives the bus. I would believe it. He does it. absolutely everything for Lipstick. Well, let's see what the officials are going to talk about. We got a flag at the 34 yard line. And the two flags, one upfield, one back. And they're both going to be against Lipsick. And this is going to be downfield blocking after the interception. A blindside block, something that they put in football years ago on a peel back. Is that illegal hugging? Is, what, is that a. <laughs> It is uh, the old paper, scissor, rock. Two rocks together. Blindside block going to move the ball back. Now, Lipsick not out of the woods yet. A lot of things have to go right for Pandora Gilboa, but two timeouts still with Pandora Gilboa. 2-10 to go on our Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. Lipsick going to do nothing but run the football. They'll go with Schrader on first down, and I believe... Did the Rockets use one of their final two timeouts? Official very quickly. Yeah, Matt Hershey ran over quickly to the official on his sideline, got the timeout called with 204. The bad news, though, for Pandora Gilboa, that's positive yardage. So you're looking at second and five. A first down ends this football game. So 204 to go, second and five, as Miles just said. So you, uh, you've kind of put all your eggs in, in one basket here at. Stop's going to have to come right here if you're the Rockets. Right, and Lipsick's looking to scramble those eggs, right? You're going to knock all those eggs to the ground and stomp all over them. But, yeah, you Pandora Gilboa, you're reminding your guys if the runner is held up, get that football out. If you're playing over top the center, try to make his life difficult. Remember, this is a Lipsick team that's had exchange issues in this football mm -hmm. game. Maybe you can steal one that way. So a team that has rotated guys in a quarterback, Pandora Gilboa looking for something here. Second and five for the Vikings. Thrown 23. Lommers in a shotgun. Give behind him to the back. Moving forward again out across the 25. They go with Carrillo. He picks up about a yard as the Rockets of Pandora Gilboa will use their final timeout. I tell you, Matt Hershey, he wastes no time. Sprints over the official, calls timeout. Only took four seconds off the clock on that one because he was so efficient getting the official to get the timeout. But the bad news for Pandora Gilboa, that's their last timeout. Let's go back, Randy. Remember when they tried to draw off Lipsick? early in this quarter yes. and called timeout. And we were kind of talking off air that it was kind of a strange moment calling the timeout. I bet they wish they had that one back. You got to kind of play the hand that you're dealt, and that's exactly what Pandora Gilbo is going to do. The faithful here at Lipsick pretending that they're at Camp Randall jump around here in the fourth quarter. Two minutes exactly left to play. John Edwards Field, we have been treated to just an absolute fantastic football game. Two teams expected to make some noise. Region 26 of Division 7. The Vikings need to have another player run in after the timeout here. They still have one timeout. They could use it if there's confusion. Plenty of time on the play clock. Direct snap, Schrader off the right side, pushes forward, needed to get out across the 30. He did just that, and I believe that's going to be enough to put this one away. Now how fitting is it? You need a play to end the game. You give it to number four, Quinn Schrader, who just has enough, and he gets up. What's he do? Signals first down. Gives a little flex to the crowd. He is a dude indeed. First down, minute and a half. Pandora Gilboa can no longer stop the clock, so the best formation in football if you're winning is that victory formation. 
Roberts takes a knee, a little bit of contact after the play. Everyone's going to let that go. Now, Coach Kirkendall a little upset. Might be at his own guys, thinking they still have to block. Yeah, all offensive line coaches are mine. Never give up inside gap, especially when you're taking a knee, right? Because a little frustration, what they want to do? They want to hit your quarterback. Step inside, protect that inside gap. Never let a guy cross your face. Looks like about one more snap needed for the Vikings. They are going to move to 3-0 and on the year. And if you're the Rockets of Pandora Gilboa, they'll fall to 1-2. and two. But you talk about the season the Rockets have had, the final play getting the win against Grove, one touchdown game on the road at Bluffton, and a one touchdown game here at Lipsick. But all that matters are the numbers on the scoreboard. This was a fantastic football game. Hats off to Pandora Gilboa coming back in the second half, taking the lead. But you got to like the answer by Lipsick. Two teams, bright futures the rest of this year. So final 10 seconds need to run off. Teams beginning to gather at midfield as the Vikings of Lipsick improve to 3-0 and as they have claimed a 21-14 win here at home against the Rockets of Pandora Gilboa. We will take a time out here on WOSN. I'm with our dynamic dude. What a game for Quinn Schrader. Quinn, you had the big touchdown here to put you guys ahead on a post route. Uh, second time you hit a post route for a touchdown tonight. What did you guys see? Uh, we seen a single cover on me, and I just want to give credit to my quarterback because that was a, he couldn't have put the ball any better for me to only get it, not the defense. And just all the credit to my guys. We're not whenever things went bad, we fought, fought back, and we got the win. Two touchdowns in the air, one rushing, an interception. We we're talking off camera here. One of the best games you ever played? Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. How big is it to get this win? You guys now move to three and zero. Oh. Uh, looking forward in your schedule, how big was this one? It was huge. Uh, the past two years, we've lost week one, and we're sitting at 3-0 and with, with, and with confidence, and that's what we need is confidence. Some guys like the ball in their hands. Some guys don't. Which guy are you? I love the ball in my hand. Yeah. I can tell. Congratulations, Quinn Schrader. Good luck moving forward. Absolutely dynamic. Our dynamic dude of the night. Thanks for watching. WOSN. Back up again.